Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner course. The next video is Auditing, Monitoring and Logging. So basically, why you need auditing, monitoring and logging? It's very important for the infrastructure guys to keep a tracking on all of the services and security audits and internal audits, external audits. They have to provide the reference or evidence to each and every action if it is in a complaints matters right um, so infrastructure auditing monitoring and logging are essential for maintaining the security and performance of an organization's IT infrastructure so what is the driven method here is ensure the complaints example if the organization is say uh, signed for complaint to in a PCI DSS complaints or HIPAA complaints or GDPR complaints example if you take a GDPR complaints example right your data whatever the data sharing with an European clients right the European region clients then the data store at European region itself I if the European region data is stored on the European region that can only be accessed within the local or you can access wide range to the world but European personal data cannot be published so that's the GDPR law says but how you are author to that policy in terms then so there that's required a uh, evidence so how we can provide the evidence if you log your logging so what you can see that if you log the messages auditing messages monitoring messages right then you can provide the evidence using any other application hey here here is my log from so and so i did not breach any data or you can also monitor the security compliance if somebody access the data unauthorized access or somebody trying to log in so and so then you can also do that so you can also use for security vulnerabilities assessing the risks and detects issues example uh, network con conjunctions application errors or server downtimes you can also monitor them by logging and you can estimate the uh, the downtime from for the servers to ensure performance you have the um, capacity planning example if you have the how the server is performing you know overall or the how the device overall infrastructure is performing you can gather the logging and put it together then you can make some graphs and estimations so that you can um, do the capacity and performance identify usage patterns so how the usage patterns so how you are using actually users if any malicious things inside your network then there might be a different patterns to easily identify and do that okay hey here is your before patterns and the different patterns has been changed you can diagnose that that right and if any issues you find then you should require some logging information like where is the error and where actually it is triggered from and which service is uh, doing some errors you can diagnose those issues using the logging and uh, monitoring the complaints as i said so you have the complaints but you have to be monitored that to provide the evidence that you are complying to that particular service or the process so what are the services can help you to do this so one service is cloud watch amazon cloud watch is monitoring and management service provided by aws web service it helps you to monitor resources collect and track metrics and log files collect logs and events on aws resources so this is the cloud watches has a multiple services on cloud watch 
basically it locks events alarms matrix and so many things uh, detects anomalies in your environment so if is there any anomalies it will detect that um, using this AWS cloud watch monitoring containerized applications so containerized applications would be more complex to monitor but cloud watch can do easily uh, monitoring serverless applications just like in a lambda service can be monitored using the cloud watch um, set alerts example say hey my cpu utilization if it is goes more than 80 percent send me an alert then the cloud watch have those rules then while watching the are monitoring these applications metrics then the metric says hey one of the server is reaching so and so sets alerts alarm set then it triggers an alert and send an email so here is your um, instance it's reaching more than 80 percent cpt utilization visualize the logs for easy understanding you can also use this visualization tool with the cloud so that you can um, visualize that alerts it would be easy for searching in a, a number of lines of log visualization would be more easy to understand what are the cloud watch services you have here which are cloud watch metrics which is used for utilization traffic and io so the disk io can be um, matched uh, can be watched using this cloud watch metrics and the network traffic and the utilization of the resources can be watched here cloud watch logs resources logs stream data can be watched here and cloud watch alarms so the alarms always watches for the rules where if you trigger a cp utilization or the memory utilization or the disk utilization or any kind of the server is down or so and so then it triggers an alarm um, to the email whatever you specified cloud watch events automate tasks like start and stop the ec2 instance example you have an a, a scenario where your customers are increasing so many times like any festivals you have or any special occasions you have so there would be any more and more traffic will come then it should be on a cloud watch even saying that hey your um, easy to instance cp utilization going more than 90 percent then the event will be triggered then you can attach that even to an auto scaling bridge auto scaling method then it will trigger or bring up another ec2 instance to support your infrastructure if the event says that your cp utilization is less and there are not much users with the using then you can also decrease the infrastructure resources you can reduce and increase so scale in scale out you can do it using the these events cloudwatch synthetics simulates user behavior and test example any user behavior automatically simulates and do the test if any anomalies is find out it can trigger the alarms container insights ecs kubernetes and fargate so if you trigger any ecs containers or the fargate containers it can use this container inside service to uh, get that in containers insights so how the container is performing all these details so that's the cloud watch services let's see what is the another service can help you here to watch more on the logging and monitoring infrastructure uh, aws cloud trail is a service that enables governance compliance operational auditing and risk auditing for your aws accord so this is very very important so the governance is very very important example if you are supporting for any government related organizations or military related organizations right then the governance will help you to do the right stuff so that's the major one it provides a history of aws api calls for your account including aps calls made via aws management console aws sdks 
command line tools and other AWS services. So this is important to notice that if you publish any API service to the customers, you can still watch. So is there any programming or is there any uh, hackers trying to do so many API calls and do hacking your services, right? Then you can identify that anomalies and you can do the operational auditings and complaint based on that aws cloud trail is monitoring security events and detect potential security threats in your aws environments it is very very helpful in terms of identifying the potential tech security threats unauthorized access attempts if anybody is trying to log into your example your website is published somebody is trying to log into your admin account um, to your website then it it can trigger an event saying that unauthorized access are trying to attempt so many times right from so and so ip address or so and so location so that you can block that ip address or you can change your username and password to protect your accounts change the security groups and networking like example the security groups rules can be changed based on that event creation or detection of resources um, api activity from unusual resources so that's the cloud trial can be used for governing complaints and operational audits and risk auditing processes so that's about the um, these services logging monitoring services thanks for watching stay tuned please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and courses stay tuned